thousand shillings in because Ethiopia. According to the FKE, now, the cost of doing FKE, business in Kenya is FKE very high. Is, so businesses are moving to yes. countries like Egypt and Ethiopia where the minimum wage is very, very low. I mean, we know numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. And uh, there the, are the figures that are in the public domain. But, but that, does that uh, now, mean that we should what, follow the example of these no, countries? Th there, is, there, is a, there is an implication. That is not the there truth. Is, there is an implication uh, on those figures. Mm -hmm. One, if you are an investor, an investor comes to Kenya, there is a consideration. He makes a consideration whether he, 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 puts his, uh, he sets his shop in Kenya or he will set in Ethiopia mm -hmm. or he will go to uh, Uganda, South maybe. Asia uh, and looks at Uganda. what is he going to enjoy. Now, uh, in, the, in the last, in the, in the last um, um, one or two years, we are seeing companies leaving Kenya. Companies are going to Egypt, others are going to, uh, to Ethiopia, and the reason is our wages are high. Now, there is a way we can do it, and, uh, and, and Kubai talks about us helping the workers. If we want to help the workers, we should be talking of, okay, not the minimum wage. We should be talking of the living wage. Because the minimum wage actually is, is like a learning wage. It is given to people who have no skills. Mm -hmm. It is supposed to encourage you to get skills so that you can, you can negotiate higher wages. If we set the minimum wage at a, at a higher level, what is going to happen? We are not going to attract those, uh, the minimum wage work is going to attract graduates, is going to attract um, uh, diploma holders. Those are the people we are now going to, to recruit at the minimum wage. What will we be doing? We'll be cutting off the lower end of, the, of, of our population from employment. Mm -hmm. And that's why if, if we keep on pushing and saying, let's increase the minimum wage without looking at the implication of it, the employer will now start hiring. You will see a situation where now he's hiring um, a graduate to do a minimum wage So, so uh, how job. do we go about a living wage for the informal Now, the living wage... Right. The living wage, and, um, and this is, this is what, what, what we should be doing. If we say the living wage is at 14 or 15,000, the way he's saying, mm -hmm. then we say we start Who measuring. Who said it's the living wage, 14,000? 14, 14, I'm, 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 I'm saying if, wage. for example, we say, uh, he said every worker in Kenya needs at least to have 15,000. Mm -hmm. Now, if that is the living wage, then we, we start saying we start not measuring uh, how many people are paying 15,000, but how are you as an employer moving towards paying the 15,000? Now, if you have your house guard, even if you're in the informal sector, or you have your, uh, your, somebody who you are gardener, if you are paying him 5,000 today, uh, next year, if your economic conditions improve and you pay him 6,000, you are making progress. Mm -hmm. We should not penalize you for the progress you are making. If we make it rigid that you either pay uh, the, the 14,000 or we take you to court, we, we are missing the labor sector. Where does that leave the rights of those in the informal sector, Kubai? Yes, what I'm saying is that he talks about the difference between the living wage and, and the minimum, minimum wage. wage. We have already had the statistics ourselves to the effect that a living wage in this country is over 35,000 shillings. That would be the living wage. Because a living wage means what? What can meet the basic needs of a person? Housing, uh, food, shelter, I mean, uh, clothing, transport, transportation. And transport mm -hmm. school fees for his children. This would be the living wage. But we have not even reached that level. We are not even talking about the living wage. We are talking about minimum, the bare minimum, that we can be talking about 15,000 today. When we have, our statistics show that the minimum wage in this country there is below the living wage to meet all these uh, parameters we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So if you want us to go the, the, the living wage uh, direction, then you would have to pay, because that is exactly what we would want to go for, the living wage, right. which they can't afford, which okay. they, they will talk about. But what I'm saying is this. We are talking a minimum wage. It's laughable, 15,000. All right. or less than 15 Let's have your final comments, gentlemen. Koto continues to push for a 22% minimum rise in, uh, in the minimum wage. Yes, that was in, what we were pushing. In, in the increase. How is that going to benefit the informal workers? We push for 22%, we got 18%. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what is the benefits I have told you? This worker is the one who will go to these shops you're talking about. This is why the, some of these businesses will not close down. If you look at our neighbors, some of our neighbors don't have a living, uh, I mean, uh, um, minimum wage. And they are, they are always being discussed in ILO. If we don't pay a minimum wage ourselves, 
in this country, this country will be subjected to discussion at the ILO. At the international every, level. International labor organization. Right. Right. Because we are signatory to the minimum wage setting uh, convention. Mm -hmm. And every year we must look at it. And we don't look at it ourselves as Koto. We look at it as social partner with the Minister of Labor in, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our meetings. Right. They, don't, they don't have a stand because these are the partners who meet every year to discuss. In the agriculture uh, sector, we have a committee also that looks at that. Mm -hmm. Because these are the areas, and you know we have minimum wage for nearly all the sectors. Because each sector is not uh, the same as the yeah, other. Same, all right. So what we are saying is this. Let us have our people not subjected to slave wage. You know, even we, have a, we are signatories to a decent work agenda, mm -hmm. of ILO. Mm -hmm. Decent work. What is decent work? All right. So they need to be paid well. Stephen, very briefly, your final yeah. comments. First of all, minimum wage that uh, has been given is not going to support any informal sector worker because you can't enforce it. And in Kenya, minimum wage is not going to, uh, the increase is not going to help the workers. Reason being, minimum wage for it to, to have a, a positive impact, you must meet three conditions. One, you are, most of your workers must be formal. Mm -hmm. uh, two, uh, the, the prices of goods should not be, uh, be increasing. Um, and, then, uh, and then the third one, you should have sat down and agreed with the employer on that percentage. And what we are seeing is that in Kenya, 13.3 million workers are in the informal sector. The people who are in the formal sector who are on minimum wage are, are about 30,000 out of the 2.6. Thirty thousand mm. out of the two point six uh, million million workers, and then two, the, the, there is another challenge that came in. If you raise the the, the, the level for taxation ends at thirteen uh, at around thirteen thousand and some hundreds, the minimum wage has pushed uh, somebody to fourteen uh, thousand. Mm -hmm. So that person is going to be taxed, and no. so he's going to lose. All uh, right. the, the, the net effect is that he's losing. What we are saying, um, what we need to do is to reduce the prices of goods and help farms, first of all, to protect the jobs that we have and to start growing and create more jobs and become more productive so that we can increase our wages. All right, gentlemen, this is clearly a debate that needs to continue later on, but uh, we're out of time for now. We've been speaking to Stephen Obiro from the Federation of Kenyan Employers, as well as Isaiah Kubai from the Central Organization of Trade Unions on the implications of the 18% increase on minimum wage in the country. This is our Don debate right here on Morning Express. We'll take a short break, but do stay with us. Our State of the Nation conversation is coming up in a few minutes.